Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are discussing about cloud application programming model with Mongo database. By far in the series of episodes, we have seen how to create your Mongo database instance for free in cloud, a database as a service, how to set up your Capm project and perform basic get, get single and post request. In today's session, we are going to see how to aggregate the data on Mongo database. When you're willing to total, sum, mean, max, average data, typically which you do in SQL using group by, how to achieve that in Mongo and return the same result for analytics to your front end application. So let's create a REST API endpoint for returning the aggregated data into the system. So first of all, I will show you how to aggregate the data on, on Mongo 3D. So this is our tool which we are using. And if I go back here, I can also perform the same aggregation right out of the box on this Robo 3D tool. We've seen the installation of this tool in our last video. Kindly check the last video once again if you have missed that part. So I would like to aggregate here my customers based on their countries, based on how many countries, how many customers are there. So this is what I perform here and you can see I've got total four customers in India and seven customers in US. This is a good amount of database or data size to build basically a analytics. So I can make a donut chart or a pie chart or a bar chart later point of time using this aggregated data. Now we are going to go back and create a rest endpoint through which we can return this data out out of our Capm application. So let's go ahead to Capm project. And here we are going to create a new REST endpoint. Now, the best way I would suggest to create it with security is using actions. We can create data actions in the service, define them and then implement them accordingly. So I will create now a new data action over here in my database and the steps are as below. So let's move step by step and implement the data action. So first of all, we need to define an action with custom output inside our catalog service. So action is a keyword in small letter and we provide the same. And then let's also kind of replace this hard coding. Yes. So here we have a data action called guest customer by country. So we're counting the customer by country. And this returns an array of my output structure which I've defined here. This is the best way to define a custom structure to return the data out. Once this is done, we are going to implement this action get customer by country. For that, we go to our service implementation and then we can say this dot on and my action name, which is get customer by country. That's our action name. So we come back and put that here and then we're going to call a function called, let's say get customer by country. So let's implement this async function, get customer by country. So I can say async function. And I'm going to grab the function code to just explain you. So it's a underscore, underscore means it's a private function. That's a JavaScript naming convention. And since I'm just copying data from my PPT, I'm having some extra characters, which I will get rid of. And let's format our code in VS Code. Okay, so now as you can see here, we have got here the data. And this is our client connect. As usual, we connecting to our client, our database and connecting to our database table collection in MongoDB. Then just now I showed you this call in the Robo 3D. The same call I would implement here in, in Capm. And this will then contact database, aggregate the data, and then you can see the output structure contains ID and count. We are also sorting the data based on this in descending order for the count and returning that as an array. Very simple code. And we can just go ahead and try now. CDS run command. And let's go ahead and execute this call over here. So to test this call now with OData v2 format, we have to just use this call for our service name slash the function name which we are calling. Now remember you can't test this in the browser because it is a post request. It's not a get request. So to do that we have to use Delice Postman tool. So let me start Postman tool 
and make this call as a post request with an empty payload to our our capm service so let's call that endpoint just copy the endpoint name come back make a post request with this name and a empty body or field body doesn't matter but it should be a post request let's call execute and wow you can see my rest endpoint response with the country name and the number of number of customers are available in that country fantastic so that's pretty amazing as well you can see it's very fast mongo is uh, is also doing the aggregation pretty fast it won't take much time and the best part what i love about it is json to json there is no extra transformation which you need to carry out here which will eat up a lot of time usually in like for example if you're using gateway you are having internal table that get transformed to a json so a lot of processing time is wasted in transforming the data but here the data comes out of mongo in json and you're responding same json out that's the best part i love about working with mongo which really gives the power and the speed to such an architecture such an application so that's the end of this session if you are enjoying this series of videos please like share subscribe this channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching and i will catch you up in the next session